Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are going to make some DIY Dollar Tree Christmas signs. I've got two, sort of three, to do that I wanted to show you and it's all going to be made with Dollar Tree products. Um, so what I have, we have ribbon, any kind of ribbon. I pulled some out of my stash. You need some twine. I spray painted some jingle bells just because I wanted red and black, but you can use gold or silver. Those are from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have three of these stars. I spray painted these, but you could paint them red, black, green, orange, purple, whatever color you want. Um... The signs, and I don't know where, I, oh, I have it over there, but it's the, I'll show you when I turn it around, but it's the Christmas bulb sign from the Dollar Tree. Um, I did pick up one of these bells. Um, I have some scissors, hot glue, oh, and wooden letters, just the wooden alphabet that I painted. So paint, hot glue, or regular glue, whatever you have. So let's get started. So I bought two of this sign. I took off this metal, I sanded it, and then I glued them both together so I had a pretty thick sign, right? You don't have to, you can just paint on the back, but I wanted a two-sided. It's going to go from Christmas to winter. And then what I did, I literally just painted. This is actual Cricut vinyl, but I cut it with scissors. I didn't put it in my machine. So I laid it down and traced it and cut it and stuck it on there. This is just paint, black and red. And then I took this vinyl. Again, this is just, um, it is Cricut vinyl, but I cut it with my scissors. I, you know, I measured out everything. You could also, just paint it on. But this is gonna be Santa's buckle. So I need to figure out my measurement here. And then I'm just gonna peel the back off. You could also get at the Dollar Tree shelf lining paper. You could use crafter's paper. You could use construction paper. I use literally what I have on hand. Um, I just happen to have this gold vinyl on hand. So I cut it. And then what we're going to do is center it right there. That's it. Now we have a Santa belt. How easy is that? Um, what I did here is I painted it and then I took this marker and a ruler to even off my, to even off um, the paint. And then I painted some letters. We're gonna just go with ho, 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 because, you know, Christmas on this side. And then we need one down here, you think? I mean, and these were just letters. Now I did have to buy multiple packages of these letters, and I'm gonna put it this way so I can uh, see how it goes. But I'm just going to glue my letters down. This is like the easiest sign ever. And they're all over Pinterest, these round signs. And I thought they were like awesome. And I wanted to make one for us. I'm just hot gluing. If you don't have hot glue gun, don't worry. Use regular glue. Just sit it there and let it do its thing, right? The glue will work. This is just quicker for video purposes. And any stringies, I let it dry, and then I'll go after the stringies. And then we're going to put this hoe down here. <laughs> I'm so funny sometimes, guys. You just want to, you can make it whimsical and have everybody uneven. Um, you know, that's not how I roll. So literally, we now have a sign that was all Dollar Tree items. And look how thick it is. I'll show you the back in a second because I put two signs together. Now, because I'm gonna hang this um, both ways, I took some ribbon and I made a bow, but I put the ribbon on a long string and I'm just gonna hang it like that over the top. So when I go to flip it, um, I can just take off the bow. And if you use wired ribbon, you can fluff it up, 
get everybody out of its own way. And there it literally is sign number one. Ho, ho, ho. And if you're not going to make it two-sided, just glue your bow down. But I am. So we're going to turn this over. I didn't make a bow for this side yet. But I did let it snow. But I got to figure out how we're going to do it. Right? Just lay out your letters and then again, glue them down. Lit. Maybe we should say lit. Oops. It, I definitely wanted to do snow here. S N. And somewhere, I swear I had a white snowflake, but maybe not. You could put a snowflake in there. Yeah, I like that. What do you think? For winter, I think this is perfect. I'm trying to come up with more ideas. I always take Christmas down and then, but it's too early for spring. So then I was like, well, what am I supposed to do now? And if your letters are a little crooked, like this one doesn't lay flat, it's wobbly. It's just put it and hold it for the glue to dry and then it will lay. And none of this has to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? This could even hang outside on my front porch. And since I'm working from home, I've decided, let it snow, right? I'm just gonna glue him down over there. Yeah, you might wanna go a little easy on the glue with the snowflakes, there's a hole in the center. <laughs> I just realized that. And then we'll just put our snow down, our S down. And if you don't have these letters or if you can't find them, um, just freehand it or just get stickers. It doesn't matter, guys. Crafting is not, does not have to be perfect. It just has to be unique. That's how I think of it. You know, and these were literally a dollar. I am not worried in the least littlest bit. And now we have let it snow. Did I spell it right? I sure did. And it's one sign. I'll just hang that on a command hook. But first we'll have ho, ho, ho. How easy was that? Two signs, less than $5. And you made them yourself. So you could personalize them. I love that. The other sign, oh, here's the white snowflake. I knew I had a white one, but I decided to put it on this. This is just one of those ornaments. It's a star. And I painted... Um, this snowflake white and I mean just that simple there's an ornament and these were Dollar Tree stickers they also have metal snowflakes you could hang on this and it just I mean it's that simple I can hang it I can sit it on my mantle I could put it in my tiered tray crafting doesn't have to be work now this one's a little more work. Let's have some coffee. I went to Starbucks drive through and I got, this is not their Christmas free cup. This one was, it's green until you put hot liquids in it and it was $2. Okay, we are gonna make a hanging sign. So the first thing I would like to do with my craft scissors, not my sewing scissors, is I'm gonna disassemble this. Now I bought, to do this, I bought this ornament at Walmart for $1.98, but I wanted to show it to you with, um, with Dollar Tree products. So, I bought this door hangy thingy, door knobby McGillicuddy, and I'm just trying to take all of this um, wiring, and Kate wiring off. There we go. Oh, neat. Because I just want the the black um, hoop. Now, you can cover this black ring with anything you want. I'm going to leave mine plain because I think I'm going to put a bow at the top. But we're going to just 
undo this. And if you think you'll have some other projects coming up, you can keep this. It's just um, metallic cording, which can be expensive. But you have it for free and you can recycle it into another gift or another ornament. You could decorate one of those little green trees with it and use it as like a garland because it's nice and small. But oh, let's take you and watch our fingers. There, I'll put this. I always just keep a bucket of scrappy stuff in case I would like to do a project with it. Now I would like... I have these little nips that I use for small things like that. And then you can peel off the glue. You don't really have to. Now, I could use Dollar Tree ribbon for this, but I'm not going to because I have other ribbon. But I did get that at the Dollar Tree. So we have this piece done. And we're going to use hot glue. But first, what we're going to do is spell out joy and I'm doing this again Dollar Tree friendly where's my J I need to find my pencil I'm sure I have one over here I do okay what I did is I just printed this letter off the internet off my word but you can trace any letter you want find it wherever and then you take your graphite pencil and draw it on the back Center it, and I'm just eyeballing it, nothing fancy. Take another pencil. Mechanical pencils would probably not be my first choice, but that's what I have handy. And you trace along the outside. And I'm sure if you've watched any amount of DIY videos, you've seen this process. Typically, I will say I use carbon paper that I have, but I want to show you that this can literally be done with all Dollar Tree items, right? And it doesn't have to be perfectly outlined, but you do want to kind of stay in the area. And let's see, did it work? It did. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, unfortunately. Maybe ooh, a little bit. I think you're catching it a little bit here. There we go. Right there. I can see it. And I'll keep that here. And I will take this paint pen from the Dollar Tree. And just outline it and color it in. Just like coloring. Now, if you want, you can seal this with Mod Podge or you know, clear spray paint, really anything. And if I were going to hang it outside, I would seal it with um, some clear spray. But it's going to be indoors. Actually, it's going to be in my downstairs bathroom. If I'm get telling you where it's going to go. I know exactly where I want it. There, and then I'm just coloring it in. How easy is that? If you can't find one of these markers at Dollar Tree, I know they sell them at Joanne. They're just a paint marker. Um, or you can freehand paint it, use a Sharpie. You know, you don't have to have fancy, I guess that's my point with this video. You don't need fancy, expensive stuff. These are Dollar Tree supplies. Check Dollar General, check Walmart. If you're, if you're a Dollar Tree, doesn't have these in stock right now. I will tell you though, these paint pens, I pick them up when I see them, especially in black, because they're very, very handy to have. And there we go, joy. That was how simple that was to make a letter. Put my marker away. Let me get these letters out of here. I won't reuse it, but I can. It's just graphite from your pencil, sharpen the pencil. So J-O-Y. Now, first things first, I need a piece of ribbon. I found this ribbon, it was $9.99 at 40 or 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I really enjoy it. So I bought it. Which I told myself going into the holidays, Lori, you don't need any more ribbon. See how far that got me? But this is very unique to me, I love it. Okay. 
So I didn't really measure how long I'm gonna need this piece. But if you see where I'm going with this, I really just want to know how far up. And I don't want them like touching each other with like a gap in between the letters. And then some hanging down here, which you're not gonna see for a second, but let's say, okay. So I kind of know where I'm at. I'm gonna give myself plenty of ribbon for the bottom, and then we're gonna make a bow, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first, things first. I've got my loop here, and we're gonna work from the top down, right? So my first thing, and you could take a, um, a lighter there so it doesn't um, fray on you. But I'm just putting my ribbon here with some glue and holding it in place until it sets up a little bit. And then I'm gonna trim it so you can't see it from the back, which you're not going to because there'll be a ribbon involved or a bow, but just for now, there. Which I think is pretty darn cool. So I've attached it, right? This is gonna hang just like this in my bathroom on a command hook. And then we need to put our letters on here. And what's great is that this joy I'm gonna kind of do it up high because my wall is not too long. But I wanna do it, I can center my point and I can center this divot. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on here, turn it over. Now on this part, you really just have to do it and be committed to where you're sticking it. And then I need to flip it over. Um, the good thing about the surface I'm working on is the glue rubs right off. So probably I'll do it this way next time. But it's on there. Isn't that neat? It'll stick. It's not heavy. It's not, it's not going to peel off. It's not going to do any crazy things. And then we're gonna say, okay, well, this one needs to go right here. Is that my O correct? Yes. Right? So, we're gonna do this one the other direction, I think. This red paint on the back of that, because I messed it up. Let's see, did we decide we like it right here? Yeah, do I have the ribbon? I thought it was on backwards, but it's one, it's two-sided ribbon. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go here. Just give yourself a blob. Now, before you let it lay down, definitely want to center it. And I think I got some glue up here, but I'll fix that in a second. It's dry. Now well, let's flip it over and make sure. Here we go. J O Y. Now we need to add the Y. Same thing as before. I want it right here. Right there. So it's got to go from here. We're gonna say there we go. There. Joy. And again, like I was saying, you could totally use the Dollar Tree ribbon. That is perfectly fine. It does not have to be extra strong. I want to at the bottom. It's what's called like a dovetail. I think some people just call it a V. But you fold your ribbon and you wanna be very precise and cut, one cut. 
and that's the bottom. Now we can decorate this up. We can put all kinds of stuff, but I think for me, I'm just gonna put a bow up here. So, hey, here's what's fun about this ribbon right here. This can be the tail, right? So the first thing you do, you just need a small, I'm not gonna make a big bow, so a small tail. Then you're gonna take, make a piece of this, fold it in half, right? And put it right in the center here. Where'd my string go? Found it. And then I'm gonna take a piece of string. You can hot glue it too. I just like tying mine, right? So a piece of twine, I've got just a loop and a tail. Fold it in half, so we're good. And then I'm just gonna kind of mush it together. And mush is really a technical term, I'm gonna say. I wrap it around just to make it tight. And I'm pulling it. And what I like about the twine, it's like stronger than ribbon, stronger than a lot of other product. And I am gonna glue this on. So there's that. I have a trash can beneath me. And there we go. I'm just pulling my tails down a little bit and I'm gonna, this is wired. Actually, I think I got this at Walmart. Did I get this at Walmart? No, I did get this at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, it was Hobby Lobby. I was like, where did I get that? Hobby Lobby, 50% off. But there's the bow, right? Which we love. But I'm gonna take a bell and attach it to the center. And I just, I'm gonna hot glue it with lots of hot glue. Because hot glue really holds everything. <laughs> Let it sit there for a minute. And I could pull my tails down, down, but I kind of like them outward. And then I'm gonna attach it. Let me put some more glue sticks in. And I'm gonna attach it right here, again, with lots of glue. Lots of glue helps, and lots of glue just takes time to dry. So you want to let it just sit there and dry. And while it's drying, you can move on to something else, right? But I love this. I could put some greenery. You could put some sparklies on here. I just think I personally like the simplicity of just a little bow at the top. Um, which I know I laugh because sometimes I don't like bows, but I think this calls for a bow. You can reuse some of this silver bells and hang those off your sign, some of these beads. I could have hung it on this metal thing and let it, let all that hang down. Yeah, I mean, there's a million things you can do. So this costs me, if I use Dollar Tree ribbon, one, two, three, five, Six dollars to make you're not gonna buy this sign for six dollars so what I'm gonna do is go downstairs I'm gonna let this glue dry first and foremost because it really does need to set up pretty well before I go moving it about and then I will hang it and show you what it's gonna look like in the place that I have in mind all right, here's the joy sign for the bathroom. <laughs> Guys, I love it. And maybe I'll switch it out, we'll see. But for now, and I love my bow at the top. And for $5, like that's a statement. So there's sign number one. Here's sign number two. Just look how it pops, right? Now, one second. 
and sign number three for winter. I'll make a navy blue bow for that. But I love it, and I hope you do too. Thanks for watching.